Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This channel I published agriculture type video, like as harvest, farming, cultivation and fruits vegetables processing CTC. Today in this video I am going to show total agriculture system. Let's start. Agriculture or farming is the practice of cultivating plants and livestock. Agriculture was the key development in the rise of sedentary human civilization, whereby farming of domesticated species created food surpluses that enabled people to live in cities. The history of agriculture began thousands of years ago, after gathering wild grains. Beginning at least 105,000 years ago, nascent farmers began to plant them around 11,500 years ago. Sheep, goats, pigs and cattle were domesticated over 10,000 years ago. Plants were independently cultivated in at least 11 regions of the world. Industrial agriculture based on large-scale monoculture in the 20th century came to dominate agricultural output. Though about 2 billion people still depended on subsistence agriculture, the major agricultural products can be broadly grouped into foods, fibers, fuels, and raw materials. Food classes include cereals, vegetables, fruits, cooking oils, meat, milk, eggs, and fungi. Over one-third of the world's workers are employed in agriculture, second only to the service sector, although in recent decades. The global trend of a decreasing number of agricultural workers continues, especially in developing countries, where smallholding is being overtaken by industrial agriculture and mechanization that brings an enormous crop yield increase. Modern agronomy, plant breeding, agrochemicals such as pesticides and fertilizers, and technological developments have sharply increased crop yields but cause ecological and environmental damage. Selective breeding and Modern practices in animal husbandry have similarly increased the output of meat, but have raised concerns about animal welfare and environmental damage. Environmental issues include contributions to global warming, depletion of aquifers, deforestation, antibiotic resistance, and other agricultural pollution. Agriculture is both a cause of and sensitive to environmental degradation, such as biodiversity loss, desertification, soil degradation, and global warming all of which can cause decreases in crop yield. Genetically modified organisms are widely used, although some are banned in certain countries. Agriculture plays a chiefly role in economy as well as it is considered to be the backbone of economic system for developing countries. For decades, agriculture has been related with the production of vital food crops. The present era of farming contains dairy, fruit, forestry, poultry beekeeping and arbitrary etc. However, it could be referred to as promotion processing, marketing, and distribution of crops and livestock products. It is also provide the employment chances to huge percentage of the inhabitants. The industrial sector of Pakistan is almost depends on agriculture for raw material. The input of agriculture towards GDP is about 25% which is highest contribution any other sectors. The following are the main points of the importance of agriculture for the Pakistan economy. World food production needs to double by 2050 to cater for population growth and evolving food habits. It faces the impacts of climate change on biodiversity, soil and water quality, and the demands of the global marketplace. EU farm policy has changed considerably in recent decades to help farmers face these challenges and respond to people's changing attitudes and expectations. EU agricultural policy covers a wide range of areas, including food quality, traceability, trade and promotion of EU farm products. The EU financially supports its farmers and encourages sustainable and eco-friendly practices, while also investing in the development of rural areas. EU institutions collaborate on food and farming policy making, implementing, monitoring and evaluating it. National and local authorities implement the laws agreed at EU level. Through the EU budget, funds are made available to member states in accordance to rules set at EU level. The EU also monitors how laws are applied, how effective they are, and coordinates amendments. Pastoralism involves managing domesticated animals. In nomadic pastoralism, herds of livestock are moved from place to place in search of pasture, fodder, and water. This type of farming is practiced in arid and semi-arid regions of Sahara, Central Asia and some parts of India. In shifting cultivation, a small area of forest is cleared by cutting and burning the trees. The cleared land is used for growing crops for a few years until the soil becomes too infertile and the area is abandoned. Another patch of land is selected and the process is repeated. This type of farming is practiced mainly in areas with abundant rainfall where the forest regenerates quickly. This practice is used in Northeast India, Southeast Asia, and the Amazon Basin. Used in Northeast India, Southeast Asia, and the Amazon Basin. Subsistence farming is practiced to satisfy family, 
or local needs alone, with little left over for transport elsewhere. It is intensively practiced in Monsoon Asia and Southeast Asia. An estimated 2.5 billion subsistence farmers worked in 2018, cultivating about 60% of the Earth's arable land. Intensive farming is cultivation to maximize productivity with a low fallow ratio and a high use of inputs water, fertilizer, pesticide and automation. It is practiced mainly in developed countries. Cropping systems vary among farms depending on the available resources and constraints, geography and climate of the farm, government policy, economic, social and political pressures, and the philosophy and culture of the farmer. Shifting cultivation or slash and burn is a system in which forests are burnt, releasing nutrients to support cultivation of annual and then perennial crops for a period of several years. Then the plot is left fallow to regrow forest, and the farmer moves to a new plot returning after many more years. This fallow period is shortened if population density grows, requiring the input of nutrients and some manual pest control. Annual cultivation is the next phase of intensity in which there is no fallow period. This requires even greater nutrient and pest control inputs. Further industrialization led to the use of monocultures, when one cultivar is planted on a large acreage. Because of the low biodiversity, nutrient use is uniform and pests tend to build up, necessitating the greater. Use of pesticides and fertilizers, multiple cropping, in which several crops are grown sequentially in one year, and intercropping, when several crops are grown at the same time, are other kinds of annual cropping systems known as polycultures. In subtropical and arid environments, the timing and extent of agriculture may be limited by rainfall, either not allowing multiple annual crops in a year or requiring irrigation. In all of these environments perennial crops are grown and systems are practiced such as agroforestry. In temperate environments, where ecosystems were predominantly grassland or prairie, highly productive annual farming is the dominant agricultural system. Important categories of food crops include cereals, legumes, forage, fruits and vegetable. Natural fibers include cotton, wool, hemp, silk and flax. Specific crops are cultivated in distinct growing regions throughout the world. Production is listed in millions of metric tons based on FAO estimates. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Please subscribe my Farm BD channel for more videos. Thanks.